What's going on YouTube, Fezzle Fire Media, a few stories I want to get into today, make sure you hit a like on the video and of course if you're new to the channel, subscribe with the notification bell for all latest UK media updates and story videos. So Dutch Avelli is returning to music, he put up a preview on his Instagram of a new song he's got dropping either today or tomorrow. A lot of people saying it's going to be interesting to see how people receive his first song after the whole situation with his Instagram being hacked into and DMs being leaked, that whole scandal. But for the most part, the comments look quite positive on his Instagram post. There were some sort of bars in the preview saying something about they can't cancel me and also seeing what you said on the net, we'll see when we meet in person or something like that. I'm not too sure how this song's going to be, if it's going to be just a new song or it's going to be a song addressing the situation. It might just be a bit of both, a few bars in there. But he did say recently when he put out the paperwork, that's the last time he's in the speak on a situation the rapper silky put up a comment saying they throw dirt on a clean name and get mad when flowers grow if you guys didn't recently see him address the situation on his instagram i'll put up the comments of what he said on the whole situation where he got hacked and his dms were leaked everywhere for you guys that have already seen it i'll leave the timestamp so you can skip this part of the video and you know the wickedest thing is everyone's like why is it so quiet but from, from day one from day one, uh, from day one when I put out the statement, uh -huh. it was like, oh, he's chatting shit. When I said the messages have been edited and falsified maliciously, he said I was chatting shit. Now I got the official proof. I don't want to talk about it, Peter. I just want to get it over and done with, you know what I mean? You got me cooperating with the police and shit so they can conduct the investigation. Fuckers. Come. Anyways, that goes on. And to all you non-believers, I'm going to say the document's fake. It's not real or it's Photoshop. I'm willing to send a document to anyone that you don't think is a reliable source. I've sent it to loads of people in the industry already. I've sent it to most of the platforms. I've sent it to most of the big interviewers. I might do one, I don't know. You know what I mean? But I'll, I'll, I'll send it to anyone. It's just a lot of sensitive information in there. If you post all of it, you could get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? But Chavelli's management took to Instagram to say the last three months our company has had many allegations directed towards our artist Dutch Chavelli with no proof other than a bias of the negative people on social media who are trying to tear him down. Here is further proof to innocence with evidence from child services and the police who have investigated this matter twice. We will stand by him in full support and hopefully we can put this subject to bed. We would like to thank all those who have supported us and shall continue to do what we do best and deliver incredible music. Yours sincerely, 2 up, 2 down entertainment. In other news guys, it seems like the rapper Ambush got arrested again and then bailed again. This guy's police history is just crazy. I always say it. It's like he gets nicked by them every five minutes and then released and bailed. This is what's going on in our lives on a, on a stupid basis, bro. Anything Okay, so I've got a giant dagger and I'm just waiting on you. Fresh on my job. And where they got, they got me on blood clot, church road. Fucking hell, blood. 
He said on his Instagram, my case just got adjourned again. I'm just waiting on my new date. Hashtag free Frank though. He actually just dropped a banger called I'm Just Bait. The song's got like nearly 200k views across three days. It's a banger. Make sure you guys go run that song up. And hopefully this guy can sort out his legal issues because he actually could be a big problem on the UK scene. His song Jumpy is on all my playlists in my car. It's a banger. And the remix as well. This guy could be a massive artist in the UK if he just focuses on his music. Looks like KSI is coming off Twitter, he put up this tweet saying Twitter used to be an amazing place where you could connect with people in different communities and communicate without any problems. Now it's just full of pretentious people that are ready to cancel and destroy your legacy for breathing incorrectly. And on that note, I'm out. I personally don't use Twitter and I've got to agree with him on that point. A cancel culture does go too far sometimes. It can be good at times and bad at times. There's certain things he's pointed out about certain people that have been cancelled for the right reasons. But a lot of the time, they're just dragging up past tweets to relevance today when people grow and evolve and change their opinion about things. I mean, a lot of people use it well, other people might use it through their management, Twitter, but it is definitely the most risky platform for any artist. You're literally just putting your thoughts out there every so often and something will come back to bite you in the arse at some point because you're not going to say everything perfectly all the time. Do you guys use Twitter? Comment below and also what's your thoughts on cancel culture? Do you think it goes too far sometimes or do you think people should be held accountable for everything they say on all platforms? And guys, talking of Twitter and tweets, chip about this. Skep talking about retirement got me thinking deeper. Still hinting at his own retirement. He then put up, I just wish I knew what I knew now when I was younger. If you guys don't know, Skepta put up something the other day about his own retirement, saying his last song with Band OK and Double L's will be coming soon, then hinting that he will be retiring, but he didn't actually confirm outright, say, that's me done. It could just be for the year. But imagine losing Chip and Skepta in the same year, these two legends. They're both incredible artists that's made a lot of money in the game, so they could retire easily, but it will be a huge L for the UK scene. But guys, talking about OFB and Skepta making a song with them, they remember Boogie, which was around from very early, if you guys remember the old OFB songs, who got a life sentence, has got some new music coming himself as well. He put up a little video talking, saying he'd be home soon. Get me. Boogie mm -hmm. V, why, why I come out real soon? Make sure you stream it up, share it up, you get me? Quick reminder if you forgot as well, it's the old way or no way. I live for the meds, around there we put skins on peds Gangs in cars, I step put that on my 10 little piggy But this little piggy didn't go to the market Went to the op, but raised it and barked it I was a doc with my head in my hands Thinking this prosecutor's a bastard Talking a gang and you can get blocked and that was a little preview of the song he's got coming out next month. It's been a while since he released anything. Seems like it'll be similar to the SJ Chopper type song. One thing I've got to say about OFB, they recruit a lot of members from their area, but even when they go inside, they still support their artists and help push out label situations. SJ's got his own label coming. I think Boogie's going to have a similar sort of thing. So they keep supporting them and pushing them into situations where they can make money. A lot of people in the rap game say when people go down around them, they will help. But LFB actually do that and show it publicly that they support their friends that have gone inside. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. As always, make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell to be updated on my next videos. And follow me on Instagram at Fezify. Drop me a message. Feel free. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.